A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban, and I will be your guide in this video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic is the four M's of production. Be ready as we start, learn and enjoy our topic for today. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Most manufacturers confront at least one of these stumbling obstacles to agility. The good news is that none of them, even those related to aged capital equipment, are insurmountable. Millikan's Performance Solutions has assisted hundreds of organizations in overcoming these challenges, substantially enhancing plant agility and improving operational excellence. By putting in place best practices that address the four M's, manpower, methods, machines, and materials. The four essential domains that function together are related to the four M's of business opportunity. Because business links to manufacturing, these four crucial categories also apply to business potential. The most serious issues in the whole production system are the inputs and the transformation process. Their quality determines the quality of the output, Operations management is about delivering goods and services to customers to meet or surpass expectations. It is designing, developing, and executing the enterprise delivery system, from sourcing of the necessary input to the transformation of these input into the final output, which comes in the form of goods or services or both, must carry all the features and attributes that customers are looking for. All operations managers must, therefore, begin with the customer's wants and desires in mind. These wants and desires can be classified into customer outcome expectations that are crucial to the operations function. Manpower Requirements According to Ajuana, 2017, manpower defines as the human workforce involved in the manufacturing of products. It is considered to be the most vital factor in production. Business entrepreneurs must determine, acquire, and match qualified employees with jobs in the most appropriate period. Talks about the human labor force involved in the manufacture of products. It measures the most serious and main factor of production. The entrepreneur must determine, attain, and match the most competent and skilled employees with the jobs at the most appropriate period. Educational qualifications and experience the status of employment, numbers of workers required, skills and expertise required for the job are some of the manpower criteria that must be highly considered by the entrepreneur. However, as it develops, the business entrepreneur will require the ability of qualified representatives that can deal with operational capacities, so the person in question will be liberated from day-by-day -day exercises and would thus be able to concentrate on the key and the board elements of the business. The business entrepreneur needs to plot a table of associations dependent on his business organization. A portion of the manpower measures that must be profoundly considered by the entrepreneur is as per the following. 1 educational attainment and work experience required for the activity 2 status of employment whether permanent or temporary 3 number of workers required for the activity 4 skills and expertise required for the activity 5 appropriate time the worker is needed 6 conduct background checking and issuance of requirements 7 amount of compensation and other mandatory benefits 8 availability of potential workers in the community
Method Augustin Assier to 2017, defined a method as the process of converting raw materials into a finished product. The sequence of operations should be clearly defined to ensure proper execution thus assuring the consistency of the quality of the product. The method aspect denotes the day-to-day -day business activities. It exemplifies how a business entrepreneur will run the entire business from all facets of the business operations. Production method discusses the process or way of transforming raw materials into finished products. The resources undergo some stages before it is finalized and become set for delivery to the target buyers. The selection of the method of production is dependent on the product to produce, mode of production, manufacturing equipment to use, and required skills to do the work. The selection of the method of production is dependent on some factors, namely 1. The plant size and production schedules are determined based on projected demand. 2. The number and capacity of the machine and equipment are determined. 3. The plant location has a long-term effect on business operations. 4. Strategic plant layout, which helps in lowering production costs. Machine. It is any device that makes work easier by changing a force. Machines may increase the number of products to produce, decrease the workforce, decrease the time of the product produced. In the process of selecting the type of equipment to purchase, the entrepreneur may consider types of products to produce, production system to be adopted, cost of the equipment, the capacity of the equipment, availability of spare parts in the local market, efficiency of the equipment and the skills required in running the equipment. Most organizations would not have the option to work without the guide of machines. Machines can be depicted as the closest companion of labor in creating products and services. They go connected at the hip. In some cases, machines can even replace people. Machines have become one of the 4MS because they are a significant part of producing products and services, and they have changed how entrepreneurs lead the business. Machines are restricted to physical gear as well as related to innovations that help business tasks become normalized and consistent. Without machines, business activities will be lumbering, expensive, and of poor quality. Elements on the process of selecting the type of equipment to purchase, that entrepreneur may consider. 1. Types of products to be produced. 2 production system to be adopted 3 cost of equipment 4 capacity of equipment 5 availability of spare parts in the local market 6 the efficiency of the equipment 7 the skills required in running the equipment material it is the source of the raw substances needed in the production. The manager must secure that all the materials are made available. The material should be high quality at a low cost of price. Talks about raw materials necessary in the production of a product. Materials mainly form part of the finished product. Just in case the resources are below standard, the finished product will be unsatisfactory as well. The entrepreneur may consider cost, quality, availability, the credibility of suppliers, and waste that the raw material may produce. One of the important factors in production is identifying your material. After identifying the different materials needed to produce your product, you are now ready to convert raw materials into the final product until it reaches the customer. The entrepreneur may consider the following important factors in the selection of raw materials. 1. Identify the cost of materials. 2. Monitor the quality of materials. 3. Maintain the availability of materials. 4. 
Secure the credibility of suppliers. 5. Determine the waste that the raw materials may produce. 4Ms is a great method for process improvement, but it's also the most important method that should apply during the process design and, or product design phase, and in daily operation management. Many improvement projects or investment project on new process and slash or new products lack of a 4Ms review and design. The obviously effect of this missing is the final solution not to work or fit to spec or purpose, and additional budget required to fix for the lack of 4Ms review and design. A lot of over-processing and over-budget due to lack of 4Ms review and design. The 4Ms technique can apply in any phase of a process from the concept to design phase, from prototype to mass production, from daily control to continuous improvement, innovation, etc. By understanding and using it effective, you can add much valuable in your continuous improvement activities. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about our topic on forums of production. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. It is Teacher Luma Ben YouTube channel.